How's it going? Welcome to the Cactus Quest channel. I'm your host, Hunter, and in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how I grow cactus from seed out of lava with nothing more than hydrogen peroxide and a couple of really easy steps. So let's hop into it. Okay, so growing cactus from seed. Here are some cactus that I started growing. These are Ferro Cactus Cylindraceus. They are now about four months old almost. And as you can see, they're starting to get there. They've got some spines. There's about five or six of them in there. And uh, although this is not the same container that I'm gonna use today, this is the goal. We wanna grow cactus from seed. The supplies you're gonna need are, is you're gonna need some containers. You're gonna need some form of label so that you know what uh, what's what. You're gonna need some cactus seed. You're gonna need some plastic bags because we will be using the plastic bag method. So here's one in progress. That's about a month or two old. Uh, and then last but not least, you're gonna need some hydrogen peroxide and some type of a container uh, to fill up so that you can get all these things moist and get them ready to absorb all that moisture. So the next step is we wanna go ahead and make sure we have our substrate in our container. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. Don't need to fill it up a whole heck of a lot. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right? So once I've got it filled up, I'm then going to take it and I'm gonna set it right over here. And I'm gonna put it into this container, which is filled up with hydrogen peroxide. And I want that to soak up from the bottom until all of this has as much moisture on it as possible. Because once I close these things up and put them in to the bag, that's all the moisture that they're gonna have, and frankly, all the moisture that they're gonna need for a number of months. So as you can see here, it's starting to absorb. So once all that lava is showing me, it's gotten dark, which means it's wet, completely soaked up, and they are ready to go. So next step is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take the seeds. Now, like I said, cactus seeds are extremely small. So with these, I'm gonna put them into my hand. You can do this however, whatever is more comfortable for you. There's no real exact way to do this. And then I'm going to try to evenly distribute them on top of the lava. And again, I'm using 3% hydrogen peroxide in place of water here. The reason I'm doing that is it's gonna kill any type of organic material that I don't want in there that could potentially be harmful for the development of these tiny little seedlings. Now, once I've got that done, the very next step is I'm gonna take a small layer of vermiculite here, and I'm just going to, with my fingers, kind of crush it up and sprinkle it on the top. I don't need to do a whole lot of this. Like I said, this is just to give it a little bit of traction to give those seeds something to grip onto. Um, so that they're able to, to push up and they don't grow sideways, which again, this is trial and error. I've learned the hard way a few times here. Now, once I've got that done, I go ahead and put the lid on. For those of you that have questions, I don't have any holes in the lid. I only have the five holes in the bottom. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it into a plastic bag, which is basically creating a little terrarium uh, to give it a little extra moisture, especially because I'm just using the lava, which doesn't hold moisture very well. I'm going to put a couple more sprays of hydrogen peroxide into the bag and seal it up. The final step is actually going to be placing your seeds in the bags under some light. Now I have it set up to where I actually have grow lights and I've got a heat mat and you can feel free to hit me up in the comment section if you want to know details on exactly how I have it set up. But if you don't already have grow lights and a heat mat, you can put this in your windowsill or any place that gets a pretty fair amount of sunlight, uh, at least for an extended 8 to 10 hour period a day. And in about a week to two weeks, you should see little green cactuses sprouting up. And I'll kind of show you here. Here's some astrophytums that I sowed about a month ago, and you can even see those little green guys in there. So I wish you guys the best of luck. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions or comments, hit me up. Let me know. You can follow me on Instagram at CactusQuest. And I post pretty much daily there. You'd be able to find me and get in touch with me very easily. All right. Peace out. Thanks.
So that's it for the video. I hope you found it useful and message me. Uh, follow me on Instagram and send me progress shots or questions or comments or whatever. Just stay in touch. Let me know what you're doing on your Cactus Quest. Uh, and hit the like button, you know, all that good stuff. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. If you don't, don't. But uh, until the next time, the quest continues. Peace.